and others following behind. I was met in the first floor hallway. As Dan stated, about 7.13 this morning, um, there was a call put out over the police radio from school resource officer Yakshi that there was something critical going on at the school, at the high school. Uh, at that time, we dispatched all of Murraysville units that we had um, and proceeded to the scene. Um, upon arrival, what I saw were multiple victims in the grass area on the exterior of the school. Um, upon myself entering the building and others following behind, I was met in the first floor hallway um, by school resource officer Yakshi. Um, at that time, I observed that there was a male security guard with a stomach wound um, nearby to the officer. Uh, the officer at that time uh, had the subject, the 16-year-old subject, in custody and handcuffed. Um, at that point, we called in other resources, law enforcement, had emergency management, uh, medical, um, routed to our location. Uh, further checking of the first floor hallway um, revealed multiple victims, apparently uh, by the knife that the actor had. Um, so our priority at the time was the people that needed treated medically, um, you know, safety to the staff, the students are our priorities. Um, thanks to the EMS and the surrounding agencies with their assistance, um, the, the scene was quickly um, attended to. The injured were, were handled and taken care of, and uh, the, so like I said, the subject is under arrest. Um, so the, the incident was brought to a conclusion at a fairly rapid pace, and I do um, thank and, and commend uh, school staff. They played an integral part in this. And I believe that's part of the school emergency plan and operations that they have in effect. So between the Murraysville police and school staff, the subject was arrested. Um, we're praying and hoping for the best for all the victims. Um, we have the cooperation of the Westmoreland County District Attorney's Office, the FBI, Pennsylvania State Police, and many, many local police departments and EMS services. Um, at that time, I'm not going to go into particular detail with things as that is part of our investigation. Uh, we have a, a lot ahead of us, a lot to do. We have a crime scene that's, that's pretty vast, um, so it's going to take us time to get through this, to talk to the witnesses and the victims to determine uh, exactly what happened.